so intro video um, cycling from Bangkok to Cambodia to Vietnam uh, took the train to Bangkok um, from Chiang Mai uh, overnight arrived got out of the station now I did a failed trip at Christmas that took me to uh, Bang Sen which is about here um, to Bangkok to Bang Sen about 200 clicks no it's not it's about 150 um, so what I did this time I cheated a little bit I took the train all the way here um, that's the end of the railway line um, if you're coming from Bangkok and following the coast it ends about mm, about here actually um, near Uta Power Air Force Base used in Vietnam War um, then I cycled 40 kilometers to Rayong, um, followed the coast, um, came out to Rayong. I went down here. I've got to say, Rayong's got a horrible beach. <laughs> this area here has got it's got um, protection from what do they call that? Um, geography lessons. Uh, coastal erosion. They, they put a load of barriers, so there's no beach here at all. It's just it's disgusting. <laughs> so the next day, um, I cycled out of Rayong, um, and rather than following Highway Three, which I planned to, which was so boring, I jumped onto the coast road. Um, I went down this feeder road. It's about four kilometres. I was like, "Where are we going? Where are we going?" And then. Um, Basically, uh, this is jumping off point for Koh Samet, a famous island in Thailand. But I followed the road along the coast. This load right here, oh, it's beautiful. It's full of um, fairyland. It's, it's, it's pine trees. Um, then, so I get here, and this is beautiful. Um, there's restaurants and there's hotels, but I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to Glen, see what that's like. So I head up back up to Highway 3 to Glen, which is here. Um, what's in Glen? Nothing. There's nothing. There's a noodle restaurant. Um, bored out of my mind by about two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, There's got to be something here. There's nothing in Glen. Trust me. Never go to Glen. There's nothing in Glen whatsoever. Um, so I um, woke up in the morning, came back down to the coast, um, followed this road along the coast in Chantanaburi believe me um, it's pretty nice but not too nice it's rated as a top road in Thailand I've got to say I'm a bit skeptical about that I think it's alright but I don't think it's, it's that good um, so what do I do next uh, yeah came around this headland around this headland crossed over a bridge or two um, where is Chantanaburi getting close um, came all the way around here, here oh there it is yeah I just followed the coast all day um, down the coast around these islands round round might have gone that way and that way and that way and then, and then into Chantanaburi Chantanaburi is pretty nice, it's got the biggest Catholic cathedral in uh, the whole of Thailand. <coughs> I stayed in the guest house on the river, pretty nice. Um, woke up the next day and I'm like, I've got to get to Cambodia, so this is what I did. I headed up this, uh, the 317, um, to Pong Nam Ron, wherever the hell that is. Where are we? There we are. Now I'll tell you what, Pong Nam Ron never heard of that have you Pong Nam Ron you ever heard of that no of course you haven't it's not a word of Pong Nam Ron <laughs> so but if you stay in Pong Nam Ron there we go look I'm not lying to you there it is Pong Nam Ron there we go beautiful beautiful mountains at the back beautiful market beautiful people just beautiful then you take the 3193, which no one has ever heard of. And you just, if you've got a bicycle, you just ride it. You ride it and you ride it and you ride it. And guess what happens? Something no one ever told you. 
you meet a border crossing that no one knows about which is a I shouldn't tell people this should I Bank Picard and Passa Prum Passa Prum on the Cambodian side Bank Picard on the Thai side what happens when you cross over the border casinos is what happens um, gambling is banned in Thailand so guess what if Thais goes to the border cross over a little bit as casinos this place is a mini Las Vegas so I do that come across here then what do I do I head up to Pailin Pailin is where the Khmer Rouge after they uh, left power basically they went to Pailin um, yeah Pailin small town um, yeah that's about what I can say about that small town uh, then I went to Batambang, which is uh, here. Um, Batambang is quite a big town, actually. Um, lots of backpacker places, bat caves, stuff to see, um, stuff to do. Um, and what I did from there, and take note of this, see this blue line going up here? That's a river. All the way to Angkor Wat and Siem Reap. You can take a boat cruise for a day down a most amazing river. An amazing river into the biggest freshwater lake in Southeast Asia, which is Tonglei Sap, which is right here. Um, so you go in there for a little bit and then you pop up here at the port, you get off and if you've got a bicycle like I had, you ride into Siem Reap and this is Angkor Wat. Right then. So I stayed there for a couple of days, I saw the Wat. Then I, I was being lazy by this point. I put bike on a bus and I headed from Siem Reap, Angkor Wat, to the capital of Cambodia, which is Phnom Penh, which is here. Uh, it took about six and a half hours to get there, Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh's pretty nice, um, it's on an, a river, um, big river. Um, got my Vietnam visa while I was there, very easy. Hand out about a hundred dollars to a travel agent. And then I took another bus to Ho Chi Minh City, um, Saigon, Miss Saigon City, which is here, huge city. Uh, yeah, okay, the skyline was quite impressive um, with a beer and being on the 50th floor of a building, but oh no, man, something about it I didn't like. Next day, straight out spent a day there straight out and I went to Natrang where are you yeah Natrang no no Natrang no. no, look at a picturesque beach have a look at Natrang no, picturesque very picturesque but I've been going through nothing for a day no towns no 7-Elevens, no development, nothing. And then bang, you hit another train and you're like, wow! That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. Um, change of view. No train, yeah, it's just a huge beach resort. Massive beach, pretty nice. Um, but um, not a lot of time. Not really for me. 